Aeros ANG Precision, we specialise in precision components, mainly for the aerospace business, but we do defence, space, medical, we've done Formula One. Uh, we employ over 75 people at this facility and we have a treatment site as well, uh, five miles down the road, which takes another 25 people. Okay, so what makes you different here? Well, we're a family-led business, uh, set up by the owner, uh, 30 years ago, uh, one, one machine, one man, to the site we are today with over 75 people. Uh, we are very flexible, we're always to hand, we're very proactive. If somebody wants something tomorrow, we will do everything we can to give what the customer what they want. Okay, so what's the capacity size of the components that you're making? Yeah, well we make all sorts of uh, components size-wise. We go up to 1.6 metres. Um, but then we do some very small, delicate parts on our seven-axis sliding head machines. And obviously we've recently gone into 15 pallet machinery to do lights-out machining, mainly for contracts, but we've got lots of capacity on this machine. OK, so when you've gone into the automation side of things, what's that doing for you and your customers? Well, the, the, we've, we've, been made, we've been able to uh, cope with a very large order book, uh, which is very demanding, which sees a lot of change and it's meant that we can run 24-7 with minimal staff. We, we're open all weekend, but with no staff in, the machine just keeps going. Wow. It, it's turned our business on its head, it's, it's a great asset. And what materials are you working with? We can machine anything really, but we predominantly uh, have aluminium, titanium, we have some large package of titanium uh, on, the, on the machines, especially these lights out machines stainless steels, plastics, anything really what you can cut. And what patch sizes are you working with? Well we do one-offs, uh, we do fast track one-offs but we do in the thousands off. We have a sliding head machines what do multiple thousands. Our lights out machines they're all running on up to 15 different jobs and they can all be a thousand plus. Well I get the gist that it's a real family run company with our visit here today and there's You've got quite a reputation for apprentices and looking after apprentices, haven't you? Yes, uh, we've always had apprentices. We used to take them on every two to three years. But in 2014, when we realised that skill was hard to get hold of, it was a dying breed in engineering. So we decided to take four apprentices on for the next four years, which we did. We committed to 16 apprentices from 2015 to 2019. And in 2020, we took two on, so that's 18 apprentices over the last five years. But we do have 16 uh, apprentices who's come through this uh, the training, and four, 12 of them are on our management team today. So they have progressed. So, yeah. What a story! And it shows investing in young people is really helping this business drive it forward. Absolutely. We have a uh, careers evening at the local school, so when they have theirs once a year, then we hold one back here and we let the pupils, parents come and have a look at us and see what we're about and give them that warm family feeling. It's a good place to work. Talking about a careers evening, I hear you've got a famous curry night as well. Yeah, the lads organise that uh, every month, uh, pre-COVID. Yeah. Um, and then the management turn, will turn up two or three times a year. They pay for it, so they all put their names down. But once <laughs> you know where you're going, then more people go, but yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so overall, why would you encourage anybody to come and use A&G? Yeah, well, I think we're a flexible company. We, we invest in the future with our technologies. We, we make the customer feel as important as we make our staff. It's all one big team effort, and we're always open, and we're always here to help everybody.